What's good friends? We here at SPL Uber is level 56. Where's Fireburn? Let me just uh, double check if this is for SPL. I think isn't Fireburn on the cryos? Which would mean level 56 would be on the bigs. A oh, nice mug. Always love to see mug and Uber. Men's is putting all the work. So his RC is ground, which probably is but death if it switches in on the life of a Voltal, yeah. I've seen this scenario before. I mean last week it was because he was I think like his client and was it RCS Dark that switched on the Voltal at that time. So he reveals the taunt. I just wanna see if it's for SPL. Just wanna be hundred percent sure. Because I have recorded an uh, Uber's match that was not for SPL last week. That was funny as fuck. I'm gonna upload that and troll myself. So this is for SPL, I just made sure. So it's Cryos vs. Biggs. The Ice Beam. Arceus doesn't beat the Valtar 1v1 because Oblivion Wing just heals um, enough PP back. So Evolta doesn't get. Evolta beats this 1v1 basically. I was level 56 beating this Evolta, by the way. Let me look at this team. Mm, Spadef Clef, maybe? But even then, you can't even wish reliably on a potential taunt. I don't really know how he beats this. I mean, yeah, he yeah, has the Clef, but it's gonna take a lot, yeah. And now he kind of forced to Moonblast. He can protect if he wants to, but if I went could just hard switch out to protect and protect. Like, hard Gengar on a wish or protect? Hard Gengar or hard Arceus, hard Deoxys, I don't know. A Groudon is also an option. I feel like Groudon or Gengar is most likely to play. The Ox is a threat, so you don't want to switch it into Moonblast. Potential Moonblast. I could also see a Wish coming out, but Wish would be a potential risk on a Taunt. Well, I think... Uh, <coughs> I'm tired, sorry. I think oh god, I thought they had I thought he had no reason to stay in there, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, that's the wish. I could see this going for a moonblast here. But there's no point in risking your cleft like that. So he's just gonna go pop checked. And this turn he's just gonna go for moonblast, I'm pretty sure. I kind of want to double, if I'm double 56, I kind of want to double on the ground on here. Yeah, did he double on the ground on? Just went for wish. I mean, that's okay on an okay play. He gets more lefties back, but the wish doesn't really do anything. I guess he can, now he can go off his ground if he's bulky to live a Precipice Blades, but I think Precipice Blades might kill you off his ground. So yeah, the wish was kind of wasted, he's just gonna, oh, he's just gonna drink too, okay. Thought he would get up rocks, but Dragon Tail makes sense in case he couldn't kill the Arceus. So, and in case Arceus came out there, level 56 wouldn't have gotten the wish on his Arceus. We see if, this, if there is any other SPL going on. I don't want to really miss any OU games. Like, I want to focus more on OU. I think there's an OST game going on. The esteemed user was Axel Savage. Axel already played his SPL game. I don't even know much about this Giratina form. I think this one is the bulky one that runs the Defog Blow Wisp. I mean, I think most Giratinas run Blow Wisp and Defog. The other form runs like Draco Meteor, and I think this one runs like Sleep Talk sometimes, or sometimes it runs Dragon Tail. But I'm not too sure about that. So the Dragon Tail crit is a bit annoying for level 56. That fire runs it a lot to the RC's ground. So it's kind of forced to judgment here. <clears throat> Pretty sure Groudon will even live a uh, super effective judgment since it's so bulky. Just goes to Volta, predicting potential judgment, but nice play by level 56 going for recover. So, this Volta is just a threat, it's in again. Like, Clefable is not the best switch in, as we saw earlier, since. Our Living Ring does a good chunk. Just goes to Muck on a taunt. So, Fireborn predicted him to. Go for recover or go on the clef. Probably go for recover. That's the main reason you would go for turn there. 
he loses the life up on the Volta, which is nice for level 56. So now this Volta is not that strong, and Fable can ward it a bit better. So Arceus Grunt comes out, but that's still two at KO, so I don't understand. Did he miss Kalk, or did he think he would switch his Volta out? I thought Clef was the fine play. I think the fast, my bad. For some reason, I thought it was bulky Arceus, like super bulky without speed. I was for, like sometimes I forget that Arceus has 120 base speed because I don't play this tier. Like some, like I really don't. I'm not the best at Ubers, but like watching this, these games repetitive, like over and over. I mean, I'm learning a little bit about Ubers one and two. It's like some people told me they want like Ubers content, so I'm bringing you guys that as well. But obviously, my focus is on the Gen Seven and the Gen Six OU, like Oris and Sunmoon. And yeah, some black and white here and there. DPP. I don't think I did record any DPP this week. At least not. Until now, so this Aussie is just gonna go for recover. It also got the taunt play correct on the cliff. That was a ballsy play, a bolt play. Could, this could have gone Moonblaster potentially. That Dark Pulse crit sucks for level 56. I think the cry is on the back in this, so they have to like win this game. I think the score was 6 and 3, but I'm not sure. I could double check for you guys, but I don't want to miss any turns. Yeah, I think there's a good chunk. This also doesn't heal anything back by going for Dark Pools instead of Oblivion Wing. And I think that's the, the Taunt doesn't burn off next turn, does it? Oh, he gets a crit there, which is kind of huge. Something is getting blown back by this DX is attack now. Yes, yeah, go six and three. So the cries really have death to win like every game. The DPP won the Ubers and the summon Oreo versus Obliviate. So Obliviate was martial law. Gonna be interesting to watch that if I'm gonna be able to. We'll see, we'll see. Might not catch every game. But yeah, as per usual, my the Uber game, Uber scam will go up after after the Sun and Moon and Oris game. So you guys will already know the result for that game if you watch it on my channel. If I recorded it, I mean this goes for Psycho Boost, right? And something is blown away. I think Psycho Boost and the Superpower would kill Ferrothorn if you had that. Not sure if all every Deoxys runs that. Oh, Mark has a potential switch in. Mark has a potential switch in, so maybe he's gonna hard superpower. I really don't know what's set. Maybe he has something to kill the Mark afterwards, even if it comes in on a psycho boost. Because Mark does have good spadev, but the fist dev is not that good. I can check. Uh, data Mark Alola. Yeah, it only has 75 defense, but that's pretty good base HP. So the man, the man just DC. I hope he's coming back soon. We've had multiple DCs yesterday and also early on the X-ray game we had some DCs. They had a, the, the, the match that was yesterday, the Eternal Spirit one. I think it's getting recreated later on. My, like the thing is I cannot even pause the recording because I'm on OBS. I would have to end it and make a new one and then cut them together, which I don't really don't really want to do it because I'm recording so many SBL games I would like rather not have to cut after okay level 56 joined which is nice 
Like if he would have deceit a bit longer. If he would have deceit for a bit longer. Oh man, that's a nice play going for super power. Back to Max slash Feral Thorn. We see the life orb, which is pretty common on Deoxys Summer and Sash. And the muck is just gonna pursue this. I'm pretty sure that's what he's gonna do. So yeah, Mac is actually cool on Uber's pursuits Gengar pursuits stuff like the Oxus. There's another one that I, that I forgot. I mean also nice Zonius check as well. But he also had a Ferrothorn. He went for Shadow Sneak. So I guess he predicted him I guess he knew that Firebone wouldn't switch there because pursuit is obvious. And he didn't want to take any damage on his mark, which was which is a nice play considering that he lost his feral thorn. And so it's nice to keep health on this for the Xerneas. But that was a risk that was a risky play though, in, like if he hard switched the ground on. But he was just in his head there knowing he wouldn't switch on a potential pursuit. On the obvious pursuit. Jotina tanks this up. Um we will see if this is the rest set. I think this is the rest set. I never saw this back sprite. I just know that Giratina O, oh, I think it's more common in Ubers. At least it's I at least I saw it more often in the Uber game that I watched. Oh, this one doesn't have levitate, it has pressure. I always think Giratina has levitate, but that's the other form. So it just dies to the ground on. And I think this time you will just see a judgment coming out from level 56 ground Arceus, because one fire one doesn't have a switch in for that unless he's like Arceus. Bulky Arceus that can switch in on that potentially. And I don't think there's a point in going for recover and get blown away by this Groudon, but he made that play anyway and he got crit, which sucks. But anyways, like, five months would have done more than recover, than you heal would recover anyway. So, like, I just don't get why you would recover, I just would, would have just attacked. Oh my god, I guess now he got health on, but the Groudon just got rocks up, so. Now you're gonna... Now he's gonna go for judgment and the ground eats it up and it's gonna potentially kill this. Okay, it's still this. If that killed um because of the crit earlier that would have sucked. Actually, I think Fireborn got crit earlier too, right? No don't remember exact turn. I think it's Well I got crit and also got the crit, so they exchanged crits basically. I mean, he can recover again, but there's not really a point in doing that, so yeah, he just picks off the ground, but... Like, I don't see why he would save a ground that's at 8%. I guess it's fodder, but... You didn't have a switch into Judgment, so there's, yeah, there's no point in saving a ground and risking and letting something else take that huge hit, obviously. The Gengar is here, and we'll see if it's the... The all out tanking set, or if it's the Will of Wisp Hex set. I don't think it's the Will of Wisp Hex set. Because he doesn't have. He doesn't really have support. Like, the Groudon could have T Wave. I don't know if it showed every move. I think it showed Fire Punch and Rocks. I don't know if it showed anything else. He just lets the Muck come in, though. And the Shadow Ball. I feel like the Muck is gonna go for Pursuit this time. Last time he went for Shadow Sneak. What I wanted to say is it would be interesting to see if this is all out attacking or if it's the, the Paris trap, but I feel like it's just attacking with Focus Blast Shadow Ball. I'm not sure what else he would run. Uh, maybe Hidden Power Ice for Salamans. Or just another Hidden Power that your team is weak to that hits something. I feel like he's gonna pursue this. Like Max should live every hit, right? With a bulky mark. And the. I mean, not, I guess health on Mark would be nice for the Xerneas. But there's, like, no way. 
that Mark still checks the Zonia's if it's like that low. If it, like if it switches out again, because he will go in Arceus after, right? If he loses the Gengar, if Mark switches out, he will be at like f 38 after Rock. So I don't think he's gonna be able to check Zonia's with that little health. But it was just the start of the Gen 4 um, uh, DPP SPL game. I don't know why I said Gen 4 and DPP because it's the same. But yeah, I'm go just gonna record this one. I'm probably gonna. I can all DPP for now. Why is this monk like moving so slow? Is my computer lagging or something? I mean, Fireborn is thinking really hard, but... I think you just go for Focus Blast or whatever you have to hit this with. Sludge Run wouldn't do much. Or Sludge Wave, whatever they run. Yeah, I don't know if I finished my sword process early, but he doesn't have like a... Let me see what the Groudon used. Grow on use. I don't know why my computer doesn't want to show me what to grow on use, but I don't think he had TWF on a grow on. Because if he had TWF on a grow on a hex, Genka would be more likely. I mean, Fireborn, I get that he's thinking hard and everything because his team kind of has to win this game. Can Xanius win this game? Because I don't know what Clef would just had how much health. I think Anna was the only third you want in Ubers. Like, that's the only reason to go on Clef and Ubers, right? To check Geomancy Xanius. At 62 after rocks, yeah, I just had shadow ball. I don't know, maybe he didn't have anything else to hit it, but yeah, I think you just spam pursuit. Well, I guess you can pursue it into shadow sneak, which would let potentially let the Gengar escape if you shadow sneak. We shall see. The Fireborn. Oh, yes, Destiny Bond. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about Destiny Bond, but. Since he lives this. I mean, yeah, Destiny Bonding here makes it so he can. Th so makes it so if his Gengar dies, Mark also. Mark, does Mark also die? No, Mark doesn't die, okay. Does the Destiny Bond was from the turn before? Um, it would have. Um, I think he might have died if he went for Shadow Sneak there. I don't know. I don't know 100% how Destiny Bond mechanic works. I mean. Usually I know how it works, but I don't know, I had a stroke right there or whatever, how you call it. So clear smart mark is really interesting to prevent the Arceus from setting up. So level 56 basically has, I think he has this locked up, I don't think he can lose. He just spams clear smart, so the Arceus never gets a boost. Gunnar said, was everyone getting excited that standard Max said? I mean, yes, he has more BP than Clear Smog, but... Four Clear Smogs did like <laughs> over 20%, so if he just spams Clear Smog... I guess Ashis, yeah, Ashis could have Roost, yeah. A uh, Recover, not Roost. Yeah, I guess for a cover, just predict in the clear smoke there. So I guess he can potentially get off an SD. He just keeps playing it like this. I don't know if level 56 has a reason to switch. Or like, what would the switch be? Lugia, maybe? 
But I feel like you can just waste all this clear smokes and then potentially figure out what he what he wants to do next. Are <laughs> you wasting clear smokes? A genius. Like, does Aussies run anything to Aussies ground run anything to hit the Lugia? Does it just? That's what I like to know. That we will find out. So he's just gonna SD again. He realizes that he cannot stay in mark. Like it doesn't accomplish anything because this will get up an SD anyway. As Stone Edge and Lugia eats it up. Lugia is so bulky, but he roots it there, so doesn't Fireburn win now if he hits this edge? So the last move is probably off quick since it's Asia's ground. Yeah, just edge quick as he dodges. So the chat is gonna go insane now. The, he's back to <laughs> Man Set King level 56. He's back to multi scale, which means he lives any hit and he can go for Whirlwind or Toxic, whatever. Luya runs like Roost, Toxic, Ice Beam, I think. Whirlwind. Substitute, okay, dude. <laughs> so he's gonna roost again. And he's just gonna stall out the PP from Edge. Spam substitute or spam roost? Yeah, roost was the fine play to get back to multi scale, obviously. Dang. And he dodges another one. Sucks. That must hurt to be Fireburn in this position because his team could have made a comeback to 6 6 this week. I think. I don't know if they can even make playoffs after losing this week now. Probably, probably not, which is pretty sad. The cryos. I don't think they can make the playoffs, but I will check that later. Yeah, should be over. You can just spam sub. Oh, he can ruse too. Does it not have Wilwin? Probably subs. Probably toxic ice beam. I mean, yeah. Never mind. That subbing is fine because he only has one more stone edge left. And yeah, now he just. Sub on the yeah, just sub like this cannot touch you. If Earthquake is the last move. There's a toxic, toxic or sub, whatever you want to do. Okay, <laughs> I'll stall you. Yeah, that's Wolven, so it doesn't have Ice Beam. I mean, it has a failing move, it so it doesn't that man set up, but I thought Ice Beam would still nice be nice to have. So it's sub of Ice Beam, pretty much standard set, just one one, just one move different. I guess phasing makes some sense. But he only has rocks on Ferro. Maybe he's maybe he's double hazard Ferrothon that didn't go yet revealed this game because if Ferrothon died to I think it died to superpower crit in one hit, if I recall correctly, from the Oxys attack. So yeah, this is just a painful ending for a fire burn. Look at this look at this nice avatar. If he hit that one stone edge when the Lukia was in range to die from edge, he probably won the game. Yeah, I think he had it. My man's just spamming toxic because he knows the Arceus can touch him and if the Arceus stays in he just takes poison damage. So he's just gonna sag his Arceus and then he's gonna try to dodge a Toxic with his Zernies or maybe he's some Rest Zernies with Geomancy that's gonna try to make a comeback but there's another Clef so... Hmm. I don't even know how he can win, maybe he can crit the Clef, dodge some fi dodge 500 million Toxics. She, I guess he's kind of wasting Toxics, now he has 10 left. He has nine left, but he still has enough. Like, there's no way you miss like multiple toxics in a row. I 
So he's just trying to start as many toxics of PP as possible. Non attacking move, Lugia. Mono, mono wrecked by Taunt. Interesting. But when I was when I was playing in game like Pokemon Crystal, I think was my first game. I always thought Lugia was um, water type for some reason. I always thought it was water flying. And then what? This thing is psychic. I'm, I was so confused when I thought it was psychic type. Cause it's like blue and it, I don't know. I think I also watched the movie, the Pokemon movie, when I was young. When I was super young, when I was a kid. Yeah, I just have to dodge some toxics. Oh, he only has four left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Z Geomancy Rest. I don't know if that's even. Yeah, Z Geomancy Rest. I can win because can potentially beat the cleft too. So there's the Geomancy. It's starring. It has two turns. So we will just see if he has if he has. What item he has? Is it is it Z Geomancy and he's just using regular Geomancy and Z Geomancy after? What? I mean, it's not power. Huh? We saw that. Ad. If I want pulls dissolved, it would be fire, but. <laughs> nah, this is over. If he doesn't have rest or anything, yeah, and he also has to kind of crit the clef. He's ingrain. Ingrain is something. You just reveal the rest, my dude. Reveal the rest. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it is rest. That would be nice. <coughs> Don't make it so interesting, click your move already. Metal Cross game might be for SPL, not sure, but it's Gen 1, so I don't care enough about that. He goes hard into Mark there in case there's anything for rest, so he could have killed it with a poison move the next turn. I can get behind that play. Like, why is the set, set going insane? He, doesn't, he just loses, he still loses. Um, actually, if he has rest. Does he have a shot if he rests here? He has rest? Oh my god. Clefell should still beat this, yeah. Actually, it depends how much Moonblast does. Clefell might get PB stalled. That doesn't do much at all. Clefell, doesn't Clefell lose this? Damn, he really is the set. And what item is he? Is it the geomancy? Which doesn't really matter was it the clef, but the special attack drops might be annoying in case he gets rid of the clef for the other two months. Actually he beats the Lugia anyway, just the question is the Arceus, yeah he also beats the Arceus, yeah never mind. So the special attack drop don't matter. So damn, this match is going on for a little while. He's really actually that set that might be able to pull it off. So the clef is gonna. I mean, he has 14 rests. Clef has 21 moonblasts. Oh, I think the clef wins this, but I'm not too sure. Hopefully, no crits from the clef. Yeah, I think he wasted one rest to early last turn. Yeah, this is only way to win starting at the moonless, obviously. Yeah, I actually kinda like this game. Didn't think that there was a chance for Fireburn, but maybe we have some potential here. Yeah. 
Like some of these Uber's games were really interesting, I have to say. Like just in general in SPL. Like I never really thought I would even watch Uber's. Like there was a tier that I didn't like. Never looked into that much. Never really liked Uber's. I only watch it on Jemmet's channel sometimes. Ah, uh, sometimes on Ames channel too. Like how many rests do we have left? So he has 12 rests. The clever herbal used another moonblast which means he has 15 left. So it doesn't fire on windows, like the special attacks drop shouldn't matter because Zonia sets up on Lugia anyway, like Lugia cannot touch Zonia's and Arceus dies to Moonblast because it's a 2% or not a 2% at 8% of the rocks. So yeah, I think yeah, I think Zonia wins this. Actually Actually I'm not sure if Zonia wins this. Yeah, I'm actually not sure if Zonia wins because He also has to start out the wishes from the cleft later when he attacks. Nah, now that the Zonis has more PP than the Clef, because Ingrin has like 31 PP. Ingrin has 31 PP and Geomancy takes two turns to activate, so if the Clef is out of Moonblast, I think Jones just wins. Pretty interesting. He's getting all the special attack drops though. Still 11 rest and only 11 Moonblast, yeah, I think Zonis wins. Now can we get a crit? So there's gonna be another rest coming here. Nine, um, 93 turns in already. Thankfully no other game started yet besides the DPP one. Let me actually check what's going on in the DPP. Actually, there's an OST one going on. I would like to watch that. I'll watch that after. I don't know. I'm probably not gonna record it. Because it's already at game round. Or game two. Not round two. I think we'll see that round three at the moment. Yeah, only yeah, and Moonbath Clef loses this one we won if I'm, if I'm correct here. So another rest here, obviously. Like, Fable's last move is Heber, right? Or do they run something else in Ubers? Could be Command, I think they run Heal Bell. Heal makes sense on his team, because he's like semi stall ish. I don't know if it would call it full stall. To support the team, Heal would make sense. Yeah, I don't know why he said that uh, Fireburn is lucky because he's not getting crit. Because if the edge didn't miss earlier, he already won that game. So this game should have been over like a few minutes ago. Man was probably just trolling. Like, you don't have to take anything serious that is sad and a smog just shed. Yeah, Clef is gonna be out of Moonblast pretty soon. Yeah, if he, if he crits on the last Moonblast and throw my computer out the window, just kidding. But that would be where. Oof. Ah, we in juicy nice and hard turns in. Oh, look at all this special attack drops. I mean, doesn't he just... 
Yeah, he wins. Doesn't he just um? Yeah, you rest again here, obviously. The Arcee was special, so the Arcee cannot even beat this. Like, what, what could you go hard Arcee on the rest and then try to fish crit, crit fish? I don't, know. I don't think level 56 has an option at this point, like any win condition. What does hot look here accomplish? I mean, yeah, he still has to waste sleep turns, but wasn't hard. Arcee is the only play then, because then you can crit fish with judgment. Is he gonna try to stall out the Xerneas? I don't know. That's not gonna work. Hmm? He only has seven substitutes. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, he can stall this out maybe, we'll see. Like <laughs> at first he stalls out the clever moon the clever moonless and now he's trying to stall out the Zernis Moonless. But like he will Geomancy up first before he attacks at the zoom. That's the Geomancy. Is he Geomancy? Bob. So he has a lot of whirlwinds left. But the thing is, Geomancy takes two turns to activate, which is nice for Fireburn to waste more PP. Damn, all these boosts. I mean, his special attack is still at 0 0.5, or at halved, because of all the special attack drops that a Clef got early on. I mean, he's just gonna keep geomancing until he's back at good amount of special attack, obviously. Yeah, he's back at neutral now. Look, he has 25 ovens left. I hope this wouldn't take so long. I wish this didn't take so long, is actually what I wanted meant to say. Like the Clefable is gonna try to like wish protect afterwards if he like this Lugia has like seven substitutes left so I think he will need eight Moonblast to just kill all the subs from the Lugia. But he can potentially predict I mean he's obviously gonna go to plus six special attack first, right? But he can't he can't he just like predict the Lugia to go for substitute on a turn level 50, like level fifty six would think he like attacks with Moonblast and then on that turn he goes for sub and he already has a sub up because if he doesn't sub he just gets destroyed yeah he subs again right here and now he can like potentially Geomancy here to save a Moonblast PP predict him to to um to sub again and level fifty six would waste a sub. I think you just okay, just moonblast again. I thought the sub again is so obvious that you could have done something else and saved the moonblast PP. We will see. Yeah, I will. That's really interesting. I would like to know how the stats on his journeys look now. Some thousand defense and some thousand special. Attack, etc. Yeah, I don't know why he's not geomancing or something. 
I guess because it still has the roots, but no. You just wasted a soppy bee like if you geomancy there instead of attacking. Hmm. Yeah, thankfully he's not pressure Luke. I hope Fairburn can come back. I mean, this is not gonna be as long as the other match that I recorded with my man Padlob, which was like Stall vs. Stall in Ubers, which was like, I think we recorded two hours. The match was even longer, but we recorded for two hours. There was flames to record that. Sex of the RC is okay. So now he's gonna go to Clef and attempt. He's gonna go to Clef and attempt to stall out the Moonblast, but I don't know if the Lugia had any... F Did the Lugia use all his subs already? I didn't pay attention for a second because someone interrupted me. Hmm. All oh, right, using Z Geomancy was not that smart, cause Z Geomancy Z Geomancy is a fairy move. So Z Geomancy is a fairy move, if I recall correctly. So he could have used Z Moonblast instead, which would have done more to the Clefable. Rip. That would have been super nice to have a Z Moonblast at the right turn. I wish he didn't moonlight on a turn the cliff and for protect the save PP. Like you gotta be like careful how many moonblasts you use. Like yeah, clever real teal ball. Clever only has twelve wishes though. Actually, yeah, moonblast only has sixteen PP, so I guess there's a potential that Clef stole this out. Not. Nah, Dang. Do you do you predict the protect here and go for ingrain? Okay, just went for attack. I mean yeah, yeah, attack was the right play obviously. But I just saw it in case he protect. So now Max Roll might potentially kill, did he yeah nice ni nice play. Going for Ingrin there, not wasting Moonblast. Now we can Moonblast. Fish for a crit or something. Yeah, I also don't understand, but level 56 switched out his Luka without subbing more. Like, he could have wasted all his sub PP, right? So to stall out some more Moonblast as he gets a crit, which doesn't really matter. I don't think it does. That was the last Moonblast from the Clef anyway. So Clef is gonna wish or protect. Yeah, it's gonna wish and then it has to protect. So <clears throat> you can go for Ingrain here to not waste the Moonblast. Like level 56 might make a risky play and not go for protect here. But what other options does he have? He only has heal below protect. So yeah, he doesn't really have an option. Yeah, why would you? Not? Yeah, and he's getting rested on. I don't know, maybe Ingram would have been better than Rest. Because now he cannot attack. But I guess it's fine. Like, if Elb will get back to full. But, Clef yeah, actually, yeah, the zone is just. This zone is just wins. I just realized. Because, like. If he's asleep, he doesn't waste any PP. The turns he's asleep, and the Clefable. Like, Clefable has to use a PP when the Xerneas is asleep later, and will eventually be out of wishes. This game is gonna get some juicy dislikes. <laughs> but yeah, Fireburn should have this locked up. There's only two substitutes left on the Lugia. Zernis had a lot of PP on Ingren and it can waste 
No, the thing is, actually, the thing is, you can only go. F yeah, he's only asleep if he gets attacked. So yeah, I take that back that he can waste PP by just being asleep. Cause since he's at full, he cannot make cannot go for rest. Cause he's already at full, and he doesn't have like level fifty six doesn't have any attacking moves left. So it's not as clear that the Zernis just wins, but whew, this is rough. He should still win, but it's gonna be close ish. Like, the Lugia is gonna take three more Moonblasts off the Zerni, so he only has nine Moonblasts. And I don't know if he can beat the Clef then. I think he can, but it's gonna be annoying. Oh, he went for Ingrid, predicting a potential sub. I would just Ingrid again until level 56 wastes the sub. Yeah, exactly. Man's just went for a war when they can, didn't care. So it's just <laughs> spamming in game versus spamming whirlwind. But if he goes for a substitute on a wrong turn, he doesn't. Uh, that fire burn doesn't attack. gonna be nice for fireburn also fireburn attacks on the right turn but he doesn't sub it's also nice for fireburn as he attacks here and yeah this Lugia is gonna die the next moon last I guess he can go back to Clef but I don't really think there's a point in doing that like what does Lugia even do Lugia just dies to moon last and at this point Okay, the, never mind, never mind, Lugia ate that for lunch. How did it do nothing? Damn, I forgot about multi scale. it did nothing. Like, I know it had multi scale, but I thought it was plus six journeys and it would do more. But I guess the next one is gonna kill, but he's gonna keep that, okay. Not sure if I agree with keeping that, because if you get crit there, it's over. But yeah, I'm not the one to judge this, this is intense, even though I mean, it's kind of boring and intense at the same time. Wait, there's another Ubers game. Lekas Clan versus the Trap God. I might just record that right after. That turn two, okay, okay. I mean, I recorded this at long as game, so I'll probably just focus on that for now. And that's the crit and the fireburn just wins that speeds up the process so thank you guys for watching <laughs> i will just hop into the next game and the recording here peace out friends message gg so the cries win this um i mean lugia is still there but it loses obviously there's two moments and yeah we'll just see you the next ubers match peace friends